Here comes the bruiser weight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunne. I am so excited to see Pete Dunne make it to this level because this guy is going to be a star, a major star. An unmatched mean streak when it comes to WWE superstars. Pete Dunne knows so many ways to hurt you, and he enjoys each and every one of them. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunne does. They talk about having it, Corey. This kid has it. Intangibles, the skill set, the entitlement. Pete Dunne believes everything belongs to him, and he'll take it forcibly if he has to. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Punisher Martinez. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. Both superstars coming to this matchup with a lot to prove. Right to the side of the face. Oh, what a forearm! That was dirty. Boom, what impact! Set it up! Oh, there's some gouging going on. Oh, what a German suplex. Oh, <laughs> Hooked up, and what a driver. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. Ooh. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. this here. Devastating elbow. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. He's in big trouble. This is not where you want to be. Absolutely spiked. DDT. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Look at this. Boom. Nice. I see every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunn Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunn also walked away from that match with a decisive victory over the WWE Cruiserweight Champion at the time. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. Keep your eye on this one. Looking for the finish. We already established that Pete Dunne was successful in his first Raw match, but to me, the biggest takeaway from that 
was that the 23-year-old didn't exhibit an ounce of nervousness in front of a sellout crowd of nearly 15,000 in his home country on a big show like Monday Night Raw. That's because Dunn oozes confidence. He was dominant that night because he knows it's just a matter of time before he'll be back on Raw and in the main event, most likely. When this guy's on, look out. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. You might just have nothing left to give, guys. I know he doesn't have any quit in him, but now might be one of those times where you take the loss and live to fight another day. I think he's in shock right now, and by the sound of this crowd, I don't think he's the only one feeling that way. Oh, Looking for the exclamation point. Up oh, there, but he's got to capitalize now. Somebody get the hose. This guy's on fire. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Down with a power bomb. Too quick for him there. The end may be near. Oh, oh, spinning heel kick. That'll rock anybody. Warm up the bus. This one is open. His shoulders are down. And Dunn quickly kicks out. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. He's going for the pin. And that was only a one. Too soon. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. What a strike, right on the mark. Drop down, drop down. Oh man, what a strike! What a stop! Good grief! Oh boy, he is rolling. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. What grace, float over into the DDT! He knows he's in trouble. He's teetering on the edge here. x -plex, man! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Barely at two and a half. How'd he do that? Dunn is in position. Pete Dunn is all about the intimidation. He's a man of few words, but actions like holding that United Kingdom Championship in his teeth as he glares at his competition down the ramp sends a message to his opposition. Yeah, that message is, you're about to become the recipient of a pummeling courtesy of the Bruiser League. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Beautiful dive. Bringing back up Pete Dunne's penchant for intimidation, I'm fine with sending a message during his entrance, but his attacks before and after the bell rings just cross the line. I disagree, Saxton. While most of Dunne's United Kingdom Championship Tournament's opposition were excited for the opportunity and happy to be in front of an English crowd, the Bruiserweight showed everyone he wanted it more with those brutal beatdowns. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Beautiful technique. He's looking a little off balance. How much? He goes for the cover. One! He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Just power out. Harsh impact. Oh, 
This has been a battle. Roundhouse kick. score the pin. How does he keep doing this? This is amazing. Oh boy, he is rolling. And set him up oh. for the knee the hands. That's gonna hurt. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's playing with him now. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. X-Flex, man! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. If he sticks this, he is done. For the bitter end. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Gentlemen, Pete Dunn might have this one all sewn up. Incoming. He's making a statement here with this attack. This might be it! Oh, my! Going for harsh impact. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Gentlemen, Pete Dunn might have this one all sewn up. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. There's the cover. Can he do it? Whether you like it or not, there's the match right there. Here is your winner, Pete Dunn. And there's your winner via pinfall. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando.